Hi, my name is Cheryl McMillian. My husband Jonathan and I have three boys, Ryan, who is almost 10, Hunter is 7, and Garrett is 3. Right now, I'm a stay-at-home mom, and my husband is deployed with his National Guard unit. Watch where you're stepping. Hi, I'm Sergeant Jonathan McMillian from the Texas Army National Guard. I'm serving in Afghanistan for Operation Enduring Freedom. Being away from home, I think it uh, makes things tougher for Cheryl. She's not only the mother, she's also having to take the place of the father as well. You've been obnoxious since you got home. It's difficult having Jonathan away. I'm going to spank you. I feel like I'm a single mom. I didn't ask you if you wanted to. I told you to. My husband, Jonathan, doesn't feel that I'm firm enough with the boys. Do not come out again. When my husband is here, the boys seem to respond a little bit better to him. Ryan and Hunter are very physical with each other. Ouch. They kick. They've even tried choking each other. Ryan! Pandemonium! Garrett is learning the bad things from his older brothers. No, no. The relationship between children can be characterized by one word. I think chaos. It's like a zoo in there. I feel like a prisoner in my own home. My children have been spanked, grounded. They've had things taken away from them. Take out that refrigerator. <laughs> spanking doesn't seem to faze them. Mom, spanking on top. I said get outside and go play. I've gotten to where I don't even want to spend much time with them. Go play. Go play. Move your foot. You've locked them out the house. I just want my children to grow up being respectful, polite, um, young men. Super Nanny is very tough on military families during a time of deployment. Please, could you please help my wife and kid? This lady desperately needs my help. I'm on my way. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Joe Frost. Cheryl McMillian. Hi. Come on in. Come in. This is Garrett. I see you got your hands full. <laughs> Joe seemed to be very confident, very uh, nice. I know you've got issues that need to be resolved, but we'll get to the bottom of those. When I arrived, I jumped straight into observing the family. So what normally happens around this time of the day, Cheryl? Um, usually he's just watching TV until lunch. I recognised very quickly Garrett was being babysat by the television, and there didn't seem to be any activities between the pair of them. Later on, Ryan and Hunter came home from school. Get in the house. Boys, what are your names? Come here. Can you answer her? Can you tell her what your name is? Stand up and be polite. Come here. A quiet home turned into pandemonium. All hell breaks loose. Aggression in this house is a national pastime. Ryan, come here. The children start wrestling with each other where they become really violent. It's just the level of aggression that they give one another. They hurt each other like this. Uh -huh. Kids. Do you want to be hit with that? The kids spank each other. Hit my butt! <laughs> and it's crazy in the house. <laughs> What's the object of the game you're playing? <laughs> to hurt people. Uh -huh. Mom! You're trying to kill me! Oh, well, my kids are good kids. They're funny and lovable, but... That seems to have all gone away or is hidden. Usually about now when they come home from school, I make them go outside. I want y'all to go outside and play. No. Come here, Ryan. Hunter. Come. Come here. Now. I look like I am playing. 
playing with you, not laughing. Go play. No. I couldn't believe it. Mum just forced the boys outside. Wow, I mean, that's woo. The glass door, they've already broke. Oh, excuse me, because I'm going to go and have a look. Okay. What do you do when you're out here? Then, boys, when you get asked to come outside and mummy just closes the door. Stop. No, I'm not stopping. Can't make me. Can you break the window? Break the glass. Do you know we're here? Hello. How'd you get back in? I told you to go to the lake. Time for me to go in. You come in that bedroom window one more time, and I will spank you, and you will not have TV. Go play. I told you to go outside. This is not negotiable. Mom and son are fighting continuously. You have one hour that I want you to play. Yes. Then you may come in. I don't try to do anything with them anymore. I'm tired. Coming up on Super Nanny. Ryan? Ryan won't come clean. I don't want to wash my hands! And Mom faces the truth. Your justice is to lose control and to spank the children. When Super Nanny returns. Tonight. In the house. Go wash your hands in the bathroom. Go wash your hands. Well, then you're not eating. Mum asked all of her sons to wash their hands before dinner time, and they did all but one, Brian. You've got 25 minutes now. 25 minutes and supper's over, period. They locked heads together. Get out. It was a power struggle between the pair of them, and we had fire meeting fire. Ryan! <laughs> Wash. I'm having to treat you like a little baby. No! You are wasting time. Okay. You are fixing to lose your chance to eat your supper. You will not eat supper enough. These two were knocking heads and neither one was budging. Give me that. Uh -uh, Ryan! Let go. Leave him alone. After dinner, it was more of the same. Get off of me. Let me go. Cheryl knows that she's lost control of being able to parent her children. I'm just to the point I, I can't stand my kids. You don't like me with them? Mm -mm. I'm to that point. I just to hear a mother say that to you makes you realise that she's in a bad situation. You know, because it's like this all the time. This is far from good. I'm to the point I do not like who my children have become or who I have become. And to tell Joe that, it was hard to say. You know. Shut up! Mom! He won't give me my bear! Give it, you retard! Mom's got to the point where she's locking herself in the bedroom now because she doesn't want to deal with it. So what makes you come into your bedroom from being outside? All the chaos. So is this sanctuary for you? Mm-hmm. This is the only place I have in the house that's mine. No escape for Mum in her own home because her children were tormenting her. And you have to hold yourself prisoner in your own bedroom.
Get out of my room. No. No. Get up. <laughs> Children are left to fend for themselves. Where are they? They're screaming out for their mum's attention. They want to be doing things with their mum. I have seen more than enough. There does need to be big change in this house. It does need to happen. If mum is to feel happy again, and the children too. At the moment, she doesn't like her children, and that's very sad. I want to be able to change that for her. When I first arrive and observe a family, I'm looking for the dynamics. And I couldn't wait to get together with Cheryl and sit down and discuss the issues that needed to be addressed. OK, Cheryl, let's sit down and discuss what I've observed, OK? I'm most afraid to hear that it's my fault, that, you know, I'm part of the problem, which I already know that I am. There's no doubt, Cheryl, that your whole family have made a huge sacrifice for the war that's going on. Your husband is out there, and he's doing his job, and you're doing your job here. Now, I know that this is hard for you, but what I did see was a very, very grim, Cheryl. Aggression in this house is absolutely mind-blowing. I mean, it's shocking. The way Hunter and Ryan play with one another, there isn't a line between them wrestling and having fun to literally body slamming one another against walls and doors because it's now become dangerous. When Ryan and Hunter had come back from school, you were there ready to lock them out of the house because you needed your own space. And it just becomes confrontational. It's really all about who's going to be colonel. Your justice is to lose control and to spank the children. If you can physically be more powerful than them, then you think that they've got the message. But have they? Obviously not. What broke my heart, Cheryl, was when you sat and told me that you didn't like your sons. You know what, Cheryl? They know it. They know you don't like them by the way that you grab and you smack. That's why they call you mean. But what they do desperately want is your love. What they do need from you is guidance, love and direction. So I want to change. I just don't know where. How do you feel at the moment as a mother? Awful. Like a failure. It's my fault. <laughs> I know you love enough, but step up, Cheryl, and be the responsible mother that you have to be. What Joe said really hit me hard. It made me feel sad, embarrassed, and disappointed in myself. And I'm here to work with you so that you can feel happier, so that I can hear laughter in this house. Together we can do that. Do you believe in yourself? Cos I believe in you. I'm very excited to work with Joe, and I'm, I'm determined uh, to make this work. OK, so let's get working then. Coming up on Super Nanny, when Joe lays out the new rules... Eight rules! No punching, kicking, biting. Will the boys fall in line? No head, body slamming. Brian. She said no, but I'm not fucking. When Super Nanny returns... OK, this family routine is absolutely crucial to you because what it is doing is putting back time with your children. I mean, there is no fun in the house. Nobody laughs. So this schedule has been structured to allow Mum to take time out and have a good time with those children. One-on-one -on -one time is what you need to give Garrett. There's a whole morning when there's no mental stimulation. At 3.30 to 4.30, play outside altogether. OK. 
Let them see mummy having fun. Let your hair down. Have a laugh with the boys. From 6.30 to 7.30, boys out on the bikes or a movie. Joe's new routine is that I have time to spend with the kids uh, doing fun things. I feel it's important to clean the slate. After doing the family routine, it was important for Cheryl to sit down with her boys and to explain how she wasn't happy with her behavior as well as the boys' behavior. Okay, guys. Mom wants the yelling and the arguing and the fighting to stop, and that includes me, okay? Yeah, what do you think when Mummy smacks you? No, I think it's crappy. You know what? So does Mum. It's not appropriate. It's not acceptable anymore. I was trying to tell them that we were going to put everything behind us and not hold anything against each other. Starting from now, clean slate. From now on, I want us to have fun. <laughs> we're going to play games again. I'm going to give you all the time to go outside and play with your friends. But I also want time to spend with y'all, OK? Because you've missed that, haven't you? Yeah. Because Mum's missed having that time with you. Because she loves you, boys. That's why it was important for them to recognise that Mum wants to be with them. But in order to do that, there are rules in this house. Yeah. OK? Eight rules! When Joe brought in the rules um, to go over with all of us... Hunter. Ryan and Hunter were resistant. No punching, kicking, biting. Pinching, no head, body slamming. Any behaviour where you hurt the other person and they tell you, I'm hurt, it's not a game anymore. Because then the game isn't fun anymore. Yeah, it is. Ryan. She said nothing about fun. It isn't fun because you're brothers, all right? And you want to be able to play without actually making each other cry. <laughs> These children have been used to getting away with their unacceptable behaviour because it's been ignored. I need you to listen to me. Right, guys, ready? Come, Hunter. Come over here, come over here. I've got a special treasure hunt game. We are all on the same team to get a clue to get the prize. The treasure hunt game allows the boys to work as a team and find clues together. Do it together, do it together. I love you. So that they can find the clues. Elephant's head. I know where it is. Right, let's go. Let's go, Mum. Each of the clues were written specifically for each boy. What does it say? Because I wanted each child to be able to solve it by themselves. This way. This way. Go. Keep going, Hunter. It was good because Mum was with all her boys, giving them lots of praise and running along with them. To be in it's like, come on, come on. And I found myself having to keep up with the boys in and out of the house. Jump, Ryan, jump! Good job! Woo, let's go! Go! Ryan and Hunter surprised me. They worked really well together. They helped each other read the clues and not be so competitive. It's not one person winning over the other. What did the last bit say? Who's got to get the ticket? Garrett. Ready, ready, put it in, put it in! It's the first time in a long time that we've all got to do something fun together without fighting. Well done. That was fantastic. There's your medal too. Coming up on Super Nanny. When Ryan doesn't play by the rules. Come here. Ryan, Ryan, listen to me. His family fun time slips away. 
Super Nanny returns. These boys are so used to being punished for absolutely everything that discipline doesn't mean anything to them anymore. Hunter, Ryan, Garrett. So I introduced a reward chart to show them that good behaviour will be rewarded. You see the house rules? If you do what's on those house rules, Mum's going to see that. And you guys get a ticket, and then you're going to place them onto your dog tag here. My part is to reward the good behaviour with a ticket and to also take away a ticket for the inappropriate behaviour. If you get four tickets, you get a slice of pie. And each slice of pie is worth a special reward. How many tickets make a pie? Four. Four. All right, you guys have got it. Give me five. That's what I'm talking about. Give me five. No, no punching. Remember what I told you? Give me five. Give me five. All right. When it came to discipline, I sent the older boys away to reflect on their own actions. But for Garrett, because he's younger, I introduced the naughty spot. Cheryl, this is your naughty spot. And as you can see, it will travel very lightly wherever you are in the house. So I'll leave that with you to place somewhere. OK. Good place as any, yeah. <laughs> the naughty spot certainly didn't gather much dust. Garrett, there you go. do not climb on the table. If you do that again, you'll go straight on the naughty spot. You have earned six tickets today. And today's not even half over. Good job, Ryan. Come on. Now, do you want to stay inside or do you want to go back outside? I'm going to go back outside. OK, you may go back outside. Well, I'm, I'm, about to put, I'm about to put this little one on the naughty spot because I told him to not go on the table. OK. And he's just done it, OK? So I want you to watch this. <laughs> Mum? Mum, I want you to listen to this. Garrett, I told you not to climb on the table. And you did not listen to me, so you're going to stay on the naughty spot until I come and get you. That's three minutes. Okay. Now I want you to go back to the spot and then say, I want you to say you're sorry. Garrett, you were placed on this naughty spot because you did not get off the table when Jojo told you to. Garrett, I want you to say sorry to Jojo because you did not listen. Okay. Look at me. Sorry. Yeah. Me kiss. Mm. OK. Thank you. It was time for Mum and the boys to get out and have some fun, so I set up a water slide for them all in the backyard. Ryan, please come here and put this on your nose. One of the rules to go outside was that all three of the kids had to have sunscreen on. Do you want to come just, have no, Just put a squeeze in your hand. Just a little just bit on your hand. Come here. When you decide to put sunscreen on, then you can come out. Ryan didn't want to put sun cream on his face. He wouldn't be allowed to play unless he did. Ryan, listen to me. Ryan, listen to me. OK, I understand you don't want either. Listen to me. That's your choice. But you're not going on the water slide if... if you don't put any on your face. There is a technique we're going to use called actively ignoring your child. Actively ignoring your child teaches them that you won't reward them for their bad behaviour. Ryan tried to get her attention by hitting her on her bottom of a baseball cap and shouting, Mum! So cool. And she was really good. She just ignored it. She moved away from him. She gave all her attention to Garrett and Hunter. Ah! Did you see that? What he's doing is showing that little boy over there that he's not getting your attention when he misbehaves, OK? <laughs> Ryan over, OK, and say to him, if you want to have fun with all of us, I'll put some sunscreen cream on your face and you can come out and play with us, love. I want to talk to you over here for a minute. Come here. Come on. If you want to have fun with us out here and play, then you have to go in and put sunscreen on. I don't like SPF 35. 
This is what I talked about, compromise with the pair of you. The pair of you go in the house and have a look at the creams that you've got, OK? So we can see what kid creams there are to put on your face. He made a decision out of two creams. All right, so this. Right. Let's do it yourself, it's a big boy. OK, there you go. Put it on his face and then we had a resolve. Ryan was then able to go outside and have fun. Mum was just standing back watching, but she needed to get in there and start having fun with the boys. Are you taking your shoes off? Are you trying this? You, you want me to do this? I thought I was just going outside to watch <laughs> and ended up getting right in the middle of it. The kids loved it. They loved seeing Mum out there today in the backyard. <laughs> It did start to become fun and enjoyable, uh, especially when all three of the kids got in on the action with me. I would love today for you to spend some time with Ryan. I want to kickstart Mum spending special time with each of her sons. I chose Ryan today because I want Ryan to see Mum in a different light. I would like her of you to get to know each other a bit better. I want him to recognise that Mum's trying to understand him. Nobody's asked me where we're going. Go kiting. You want to do that? You think you're big enough to drive? You do. Go-karting was a perfect opportunity to bring the two of them together and to have fun. Mom, I'm going to be faster than you are. <laughs> Most fun I've had, the go-karts with Ryan. Go-karting with me. I thought you were going to be strict, but actually she was fun. I enjoyed it a lot. I feel like I'm finding out what he likes to do. <laughs> I'm going to go for a few days and I'm going to leave Cheryl with all the techniques for her to soak up. I just want to leave you with a few points and that is for Garrett, the naughty spot. Remember warnings first and for Ryan and Hunter to make sure that you use the reward charts so that they get tickets. The thing I'll miss most about Joe is her to be here to help back me up with the discipline. Bye-bye, darling. I'm very proud of you. And to remind me of what I need to change. Oh. I really hope that she implements all of the techniques, but I am going to be watching her. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Coming up on Super Nanny, the boys start to take orders. Oh, go, 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 go. But it's not all fun and games. Take it. Oh, no, no. That was a disaster. When Super Nanny returns. So let's just see how they get on. Good job, guys. Cool. See what happens when you work as a team and follow the house rules. How many do you have? Six, seven, eight, nine. Garrett needs three more and he gets another piece of pie. Uh -huh. Yay. Yay! Good job. What a change in behavior. Good job. Want me to read that to you? Yep. Look at that little boy. What's he doing? I don't know. Cheryl, you're so calm. I love that tone of voice. I love you. I'm proud of you. You did a good job today. You got a lot of tickets. You've almost got your whole pie filled in. Look at that affection you're showing. That's a great improvement. I love you. I'll see you in the morning. OK, get a good night's sleep. We can wrestle. No. We're not jumping on the furniture and we're not jumping on our brother. It has to be mutual, not you going and running and jumping on him. Okay? <laughs> Where's the warning, Mum? Garrett got in trouble. Mum, does he really deserve that? He was only trying to get your attention. 
until I come back and get you. I'm only one person, okay? Oh, boy. Now it's just a game. Stand up. I do not want you hitting or throwing things. Is that understood? Yes. Good. I don't want to say I'm sorry? No, I don't. Well, at least you got the end right. You do that again, and you will not play this game. Is that understood, honey, Reese? Do you understand? Yes! Take it. No. Mum, you're being very confrontational. No wonder he's arguing back. You do want to talk to Now, do you want to change your attitude and change your tone of voice with me? Yeah. Okay, are you going to play nice in there? Yeah. So you're sorry? Mm. Come here and give me a hug. That, this is attitude, and this attitude's not acceptable. Do I need to take another ticket? No. Mum, what don't you take a ticket for? Can I have a hug? Mm. I want a ticket. Now. That's fine, I want you to change it, but you screamed at me again. A ticket because I didn't hug you? Mum, you and I, we need to talk. After being away for a couple of days, I went back to Cheryl's household. Hi, Cheryl. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. Are you well? Yes. And presented her with some footage, which was rather interesting. I've been looking at some footage of the family, so let's take a look. Good job, guys. I'm proud of you. You did a good job today. What do you think of that? That's good. Mm hmm? A lot better. I love your relaxed attitude there. You're using your tone of voice very effectively. Lots of affection. And this, for me, is, is beautiful to see because it means that you're coming closer to the boys. You should be proud of yourself there. I'm happy. Let's continue. Okay. What's going on here? He was trying to get my attention, so he was hitting me. <laughs> on your bottom. What do you think on that naughty spot there, Cheryl? I'm not happy with that. No. You've missed out a warning, and you've put him straight on the spot. You did explain why you'd placed him on the naughty spot. He thought that was fun. He thinks it's a game now. Mm -hmm. So it is important that you follow through the small details of the naughty spot and do it correctly so it serves its purpose. OK, moving on. Yes. Take it. No, no, no. I'm taking the ticket from you. Say so you're sorry. Mm. Come here and give me a hug. This is attitude, and this attitude's not acceptable. I want to take it. If you no. don't, you're not going to do that. <laughs> Talk to me. That was a disaster. <laughs> Why? Why do you think it was a disaster? Because I didn't handle it very well. I did everything wrong. I got two ticket happy. Two ticket happy. You certainly did. Hunter didn't want to hug. But to get a ticket taken away because he doesn't want to hug or kiss you right away, who needed that more, Hunter or yourself? Probably me. The truth be known. Mm -hmm. I didn't realise my tone was that way. Very disappointed in myself. Don't. Don't be disappointed in yourself. For you to come back and see exactly where you've gone wrong, it becomes a learning curve for you to move you forward. I think Joe's message was that I had changed a lot, but that I still had work to do. What we are going to do today, Cheryl, is to work on all of the techniques, how to use your tone of voice and to have a bit of fun and to find that balance between making sure that the children are disciplined, but at the same time, you're still recognising the things that need praising. OK? OK. Happy? Mm-hmm. Great. Coming up on Super Nanny.
when another battle breaks out. You may not play until you have some shoes on your feet. I don't know so it's too hard. Can Joe defuse the situation? What is it? Is it made up? When Super Nanny returns. So, boys, I've walked into this house and seen this reward chart. Look at this! Yay! Woo! I did go up to the reward chart because I noticed they both had all these slices of pies and lots of tickets. Hunter, what happened here? Look how many slices you have. What a change in behaviour. I'm very proud I of you. Come here, give me a hug. Come here, hug, big boy. Ryan, come over here. Let's have a look at yours. Look at that. Look at the difference. I filled up my whole pie today. How happy are you with getting all of these tickets? Good. Yeah, you should be very happy with yourself. Everything is coming together, slowly but surely. Tell the boys that they need to get themselves ready because we're going to go outside and play. Do y'all know where your soccer balls are? I do. Are they outside? Ryan, you may not play until you have some shoes on your feet. I don't remember anything. So, it's too hot. It's important for me to keep reinforcing to Cheryl to step back, to be able to compromise with Ryan. Diffuses a confrontation. So is the set master just letting... What is it? Is it major? Has he yeah, I been barefoot playing. before? Joe did point out that I have to choose my battles, so I am going to have to really think about which battles are worth fighting and which ones I can let go. OK. Go barefoot. Right, OK. Are we all ready to play football? Kick it! So today, all of us went outside to the backyard and we all played soccer. Get it, get it. Come on. Come on, on! It was great. The kids were having fun and it's nice just to see Mum let her hair down, have her sneakers on and play a good game of soccer with the boys. Our goal is that way. Get it, get it. <laughs> Come on! I did try to make an effort to change my tone and my attitude with them. Come on, tools that she has given me are working for my kids now. We'll not go back to the yelling and the being like a dictator to them. OK, guys, listen, I'm going home now. What I want you to do is to work with Mummy to make sure that you keep talking to Mummy so that Mummy understands you, so that you don't get into arguments all the time. It was a little overwhelming. Uh, to have to tell Joe goodbye. Thank you so much for coming. You're more than welcome. I really appreciate what she's done. Joe's helped change our family. When I first arrived in this house, I saw a different person. I truly have an enormous amount of respect for Cheryl. She's going to need a lot of strength, and I hope she finds that within herself, because she is a really beautiful woman who has a very kind, giving heart. They have one thing they want to give you. Oh, thank you very much. Look how beautiful that is. J4. J4 Jojo. Joe's help for us means that my kids can grow up wanting to spend time with me and with each other, wanting to come home when they're older and being better people, happy, looking back and remembering the good times and not the yelling and the screaming and the hitting. Thank you. you. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank Joe because we feel like more like a family now. Thanks, Joe. Take care now, okay? This family are definitely closer than what they were when I first arrived. And that is just fantastic. pizza just cheese because Hunter doesn't want the other stuff on it. Since Joe's been away there's a big change. It's been a lot quieter in my house and everybody's been happier. Is there a seed in here? There's a seed in a corn. We have less yelling and screaming and violence towards each other. Let's here scoot over around let Hunter help you. Right there. I really haven't been angry since Joe left and I like standing back and watching the sweet little things that they do for each other now. I'm starting to enjoy spending more time with them, and especially Ryan, because he is actually starting to communicate with me now. You know what I'm going to do to you? <laughs> what I'm going to do to you? I'm going to get all your 
sugars. <laughs> Before Joe came, Ryan was very angry, told me he hated me all the time. Now Ryan is more loving. Come on. Ryan number one, which course do you want to start on? Good job. Here, come on, it's your turn. Hit the ball in the hole. Yay! I'm happier right now more than I was before Joe came. We do do more things before Joe came. I didn't get to do as much. I haven't been going to bed crying or feeling like I have been an awful mother and where did I go wrong during the day. The next time I talk to Jonathan, I'm going to tell him how good the boys have been and how much Joe's helped change our family. She's helped change me. She's helped change the kids. And she's made our house more peaceful and loving.